Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Blitz. Today we're going to be using a kit that I just upgraded, Baker 9, which is amazing guys. I decided to upgrade this because of one of Majestic Warus's videos. Well not one, many of his, but um, he has Baker 10. And um, I've had Baker 8 for a very, very long time. It's a really good kit. I love using Baker 8. I've used it a lot. I've made loads of videos with it saying how good it is. Um, but uh, Madge has been using the speed on kill effect with Baker, which has seemed to be going amazing. Because honestly, Baker and speed is the best combo ever. Ever. Like you can't you can't outrun the resistance so you can just legit just tear somebody up um, oh, He actually did it to me in one of his videos. He had speed and resistance and I had nowhere to go It's impossible to fight at that point. Uh, so yeah, it's um, it's a really really nice kit Especially to use with speed on kill. So we're gonna slap up this spawn targeter uh, Yeah, bye dude. This is not cool. Please don't do that. Um Spawn targeters honestly very rarely kill me. The only thing they do is annoy me because they disrupt my chest roots and now I'm low on health for no reason. But yeah, um, basically, Madge has been using speed on kills with Baker and I decided to give that a try and it's nice, but um, as you can see, sometimes you get left really low on health. And with Baker 8, you get um, two res pots and one gapple. So, um, one gapple isn't really a lot of healing. Like, I do like to use speed on kills with potion kits. Uh, but uh, Baker only gets like one gapple at level 8, so it wasn't great to heal up with. So I decided to upgrade to level 9. As you can see, you get two gapples, so it is a very, very nice upgrade. I mean, 250k for one gapple might seem a little much, but yeah, it is such a strong kit. And uh, the only thing that I'm bad at is uh, sometimes I don't like res passing on people. Like, if I recognize them, if they're a fan, if they're a friend, I don't res pass on them. But as you can tell by the name of the sword, I was probably feeling too nice to res pass on you. But honestly, I should do it more often because there are so many fights that I otherwise would have won. And there goes that guy. don't think he was paying too much attention there. Um, why is my inventory so full? I've only got one kill. I... I... I don't understand. Oh, we have a speed potion. That is very, very nice. Um, we should save that for someone who has a lot of gear. Why is, like, everybody... Everybody's up. Look at all the, like, uppercase things. I can't remember the name. A hat? I think it's called. I don't went That symbol, basically. <laughs> the one that I just typed in chat. All right, we should res pot on this man. We probably... Yeah, we saved it really, really too late to drink up that potion there. Um, all right, let's go, let's go. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Seb's, like, mocking me in the guild chat. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, this guy's an archer. He says, I bad. So, I don't want to have wasted that gap all there. Uh, so, we may as well just get up in some action. While we have it active, this man is not going to turn to me. All right, then. I'm going to just go through this loot. I just threw out some iron boots. I did not mean to do that. I've been needing those. Thank you. And nobody wants to fight me. I mean, fight me. See, look, it's res pot now. There's nothing he can do because we have speed. And it's all over. And, like, Madge doing that with Baker 10. Three res pots, three gapples. It's amazing. <laughs> like, honestly, it makes me want to get Baker 10. It's so, so good. It's such a good strategy. And, um, like I said, it really makes me want to consider getting Baker 10. But I don't know. And Seb's really distracting me with all of this guild chat. He seems to be in a uh, very good mood. Alright, there's another guy here. Doesn't look like he has too much gear in all honesty. I don't really want the Blitz Star to spawn, so we're going to shred him up. I honestly don't like using the Blitz Star. The only reason I ever get the Blitz Star is because um, I don't like other people getting it. But honestly, I don't like using it. It feels so cheap. It makes the game too easy. It's uh, It takes away like all the PvP aspect of the game, pretty much. It's uh, not that fun. And we're not going to have speed against this last guy. But we have a res pot and a gapple waiting for him. And it's an Alex, so... I think we're good, folks. This is indeed a challenging opponent. I don't know how I'm going to put up against this. Right, we're going to have to pre-gap, guys. We're really going to have to sweat here. Spawn a spider. Use our cobwebs. Oh, I like how they run away the second we eat the gapple. Like, they're all confident, and then we just eat that gapple, and they're like, nope, nope, I've changed my mind. I don't want it. I don't want it. We completely miss with those. I am so bad. All right, dude, come on. Come on, bro. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be scared. It's all calm. It's all good here in the hood. I just hotkeyed away. I did not mean to do that. Hello.
right because action is incomprehensible for some reason this game the microphone did not record so I'm going to be talking over the top of it because it was re some really nice gameplay but yeah I was saying that um, after my last game which was actually one of my first games playing with Baker 9 with the speed on kill effect I actually agree with what Madge said I mean uh, Madge said that he thinks Baker 10 is his strongest level 10 and I was like eh I don't really know about that man because um, he has like Tim 10, Creeper 10, Horse 10 all of these common strong level 10s which are obviously common because they are so strong and um, I was thinking I know Baker's good but is it as really as good as any of these other kits but after that last game honestly I was thinking with that speed and res there is literally nobody that can kill you I mean if you're not complete garbage of course but yeah there is nobody that can kill you I mean if you're like full iron maybe one or two pieces of diamond armor which really isn't uncommon in the late stages of the game at least um and you're against like a full diamond guy if you pre-gap if you have speed on kills if you have a res pot you can kill him literally with just your kit i mean i know speed isn't part of the kit but speed on kills kind of part of the kit really but yeah it's it's ridiculously strong and um yeah i was considering actually getting baker to level 10 now I, I don't know if i will i mean um definitely not at the moment anyway i want paladin 10 and um armor 10 first and maybe archer 10 and then i might go for baker 10 it depends honestly i have no idea what i want to go for because they're all such nice kits but um at the moment i am going for either paladin or armor i'm thinking paladin first then armor then archer then baker but obviously that depends if i have the patience to grind out all of these things but yeah i definitely think that baker's a really strong kit and honestly this guy i don't think he was legit because he just turned on me and completely shredded me and honestly i have no clue how look i was on like 11 hearts at the start of the fight with the absorb hearts and i just ended up on one heart so either he got the double damage bug like a million times or he was cheating i i have no no clue what Whatsoever. But yeah, we came across this dude. We had like no health, so I res potted on him. Uh, I love the name of that sword. We managed to get some crazy like straight line block hit combo. I was block hitting a bit. I know kind of scrubby considering I had a res pot, but still, I was on like four hearts at the start of the fight. So I had a right to. It's not like I was on full health just block hitting it out. So yeah, the name of the sword's really appropriate for me because um, I'm not good at res potting on people like I mentioned in the last game, I believe. I, um,. I feel too nice. I really need to start using the res pots more because they are so, so strong and can get you basically out of any kind of situation. And that fight, I was trying to speed pot up, but he got too close to me, so I just went for it. Took a bit more damage than I probably should have, but yeah, uh, go ahead and put those iron boots on and completely mess up because I'm good at the game. And uh, yeah, we managed to end the game before deathmatch here. We have a pretty good fight against this young man. We don't have any res pots left, but he's not that geared, so it's nothing too much to worry about. So here we go. Have a nice little one. Well, I think he gets me to like eight hearts or something. It's, it's a pretty good fight. Uh, eight and a half. There we go. So yeah, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Blitz, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing and of course i'll see you all next time bye this guy has a lot of gear i am not liking that the pack by the way is tyler's is 128 times uhc slash pop pvp pack i can't remember the exact name of it unfortunately but um it's going to be in the description